Hello Cancer, welcome to my weekly tarot love reading for you, I am the tarot muse and I've got all your cards shuffled and laid out on the table and we're ready to go. Before we proceed I need to mention that I'm in the Philippines and I have tried so hard to escape all the noises and find a nice peaceful quiet place but this has not happened so you will be hearing chickens, scooters, karaoke, there's a pig next door, um, probably some children and definitely more chickens so it's all part of the charm. All right let's dive straight in. What's happening for you Cancer in the present moment? We have the seven of cups, illusion, fantasy, wishful thinking, Crossing that, we have the Queen of Swords. What is in the past for you, Cancer? We have the Ten of Pentacles. What is in the future for you? We have the Walking Away from Something, the Five of Swords. What is conscious for you? We have the Lover's Card. What is unconscious for you? We have the Emperor taking charge of something. Where are you at, Cancer? The Fool, New Beginnings. Where is the other person at? The Strength Card. Where is the relationship at? The marriage card, success, and where? what is the outcome? New financial opportunities and beginnings. Right, so I am working with the Rider Waite tarot deck over here. I've got the Lenormand cards selected over here to give me more information, and I've got the Osho tarot cards over here to give me more information, as well as the Love Oracle. So between all of this, let's get to the heart of the matter. So we have the Seven of Cups in the center in the present moment. Seven of Cups is, uh, there's a combination of interpretations. It can mean that there's too many options and you don't know which one to take. Or it can mean that you are not, you are disillusioned by um, fantasies of what is possible because there's so many there and you, you wanting that and wanting that and wanting that and none of it's really real. So let's find out more about which one that is and what it's about. Let's pick three cards. What is the Seven of Cups about for you? Okay, so uh, I'm getting the Hierophant and I'm getting the Queen of Cups and I'm getting the Six of Swords. So uh, the Queen of Cups rules the water signs Pisces, Cancer and um, Scorpio, which is what you are. So, And then I've got the Hierophant before that. So what I'm getting is um, with regards to all these possibilities or fantasies or um, ideas, it's it's saying that you're needing to find some kind of uniformity, consistency, structure, tradition, um, and and move away from pie in the sky and, and get grounded, get consistent, uh, f connect to tradition again for you with all your emotions that are all over the place. And this will allow you to move away from difficult times, times of struggle, emotional and mental anguish to calmer waters, it will allow you to move away from that. So with regards to that, that's what's busy happening for you. You're starting to create some kind of structure for yourself or needing to. What is crossing that is the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords is an air sign, Gemini, uh, Libra or Aquarius. She is someone, and this doesn't mean that it, she is a she, it could be a he as well, someone who is uh, intellectually driven and uh, more partial to detachment when needed. They don't wear their emotions on their sleeves. So let's find out more about who this person is or what this person is. Perhaps this is something that you're needing to incorporate into your life, more detachment. Three cards. One, two, three. Okay, so the plot thickens. We have the Nine of Swords, the Queen of Wands, and the Four of Swords. So, um, with regards to, the, there's, okay. So, this could be another person that I'm getting here. Um, lying awake, um, focusing on either this person, and it's a queen of wands, so it, it's a fire sign. Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. So either this could represent a person, or it could represent your sexual passion, or it could represent you as an entrepreneur. And my sense is it represents a person. So perhaps uh, you're in a relationship right now with someone, in a marriage of sorts with someone, who's coming up as the queen of swords, uh, which is an air sign. Uh, more 
detached and but you are focusing you have been focusing and you have been actually in anguish over someone else this queen of wands person and what you're starting to do is because of this queen of swords person starting to move away from focusing so much on the queen of wands so more away from the fiery person and perhaps focusing your energy more on this queen of swords or at least this queen of swords person is consuming uh, your fantasies around the queen of wands person I know that sounds terribly complicated so let's go a little bit deeper all right what happened in the past we have the ten of pentacles over here let's get three cards one two three okay so with regards to the ten of pentacles I kind of see it as like this abundant fulfillment within the home within the family setting and there was a card of taking a stand against something within the home taking a stand around your happiness we also have the magician card here and the magician uh, card but what was created was some kind of stalemate because of uh, rigidity and perhaps too much control and this could have been with your Queen of Swords person which can be a male or a female and so some kind of cycle came to an end for you there so there was a desire for um, happiness and, and, and fun within your general well-being and possibly in your home and, and wanting to take some kind of stand for that wanting to create a change but then experiencing some kind of emotional indecision or stalemate um, because of control and rigidity which brought a cycle to an end and has created some kind of aloneness for you so I want to know what is conscious for you Cancer because I have the lovers card over here so let's pick three cards to find out what that lovers is about um, so the happiness around the lovers um, so okay so I've got the lovers card I've picked three more cards in the center of these three cards is the card of conflict on either side of that card of conflict we have emotional happiness and love the love card okay so I feel that this uh, lovers card represents a connection that right now is in conflict despite the fact that it emotionally fulfills you and you love this person so what is unconscious for you right now we have the Emperor this is about taking taking charge taking responsibility I see you walking away from a Queen of Pentacles and okay so I see the, what, what is coming into the realm of awareness for you because it's still kind of an unconscious it hasn't quite come into manifest yet you're still sitting with um, with your idealization or your fantasies or your hopes around this other person that you love that you felt an emotional connection with um, but I see you taking charge by walking away Uh, new emotional beginnings from the entrapment so um, I, I sense that uh, I sense that this Queen of Swords this person that you were that you are presently in some kind of connection with um, I see you moving away from that um, because of your the, you're still holding on to this past connection it's starting to rain but we're just going to keep going it's just rain sounds nice um, we're s you're still holding on to the, uh, the just the how good the interaction was with this past connection there's still a longing at someone from the past which I sense is the Queen of Wands and so you're coming into some kind of balance with that so either there's an acceptance on your part that um, allows you to let it go and move away from the fixation with that or 
you find some kind of balance around it. So we'll see what happens next, whether you pursue that person or not, and what happens with this Queen of Swords. Because what I'm seeing here is you're, there's a, a feeling of entrapment. And so on either side of that entrapment, we have some kind of grounding and stability that happens new emotional beginning, a new emotional opportunity from this Queen of Swords. Um, so either you're moving away from it or you guys come back to a healthier place. Now, for you right now, in the present moment, we have the Fool. Let's get three cards. Um, okay. So the Fool talks about just a new beginning, a, a trust, a uh, moving in a new direction, um, starting over. And it's to do with the exchange with this person. They're coming up as a King of Wands. But in the center we have the Devil card. So the Devil card is about unhealthy bondage or attachment. It can also refer to an addiction. So I feel like this is starting to resolve for you. Either this addiction to that person or the addiction to whatever the addiction was for you. Um, there's some kind of healing that's happening for you and some kind of letting go. What is going on for the other person? We've got the strength card. We've got independence, new intellectual, Okay, a new way of seeing the situation with you. So they've really tapped into their inner strength. They've come back to a place of independence and they've changed their perspective. They're, they're seeing you in new light. So perhaps it's not so... They've stepped into a higher place with it. They're no longer fixated with it. They, they see it in a healthier way. Then, with regards to the connection, where is it at? We've got the marriage card. We've got the card of celebration. Let's get three cards. We've got the chariot, the three of ones, and the justice card. So really taking charge of the, by looking forward, taking charge by looking forward, and this is how you, um, how you become accountable for what happened within the relationship that was heartbreaking because you intuitively know that you need to change your perspective around it that you need to go through changes this is where the relationships at so um, the the chariot card is really about taking control of the reins managing the success of the relationship and we've got the, the three of ones. So this person is not facing us. This person is looking away. Um, they are planning for the future. And um, and they're, they're planning for the future and they're taking responsibility for whatever the, 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 whatever the heartbreak was that happened and they, they, they intuitively know, this is you and the person, that there's, there's an intellectual shift that was needing to happen in order to continue, in order to move forward. So I sense this created a lot of pain. Now the outcome is the Ace of Pentacles, and we've got the Seven of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, and the Death card. So there's a there's a reviewing with regards to this new financial opportunity or this new opportunity of abundance as an outcome. There's a reviewing of what has happened in the past and looking forward at how you can manage this ending better in such a way that uh, you are emotionally fulfilled within yourself that you're meeting whatever the destruction was that happened and bringing yourself back to a happier place, back to a place of abundance. I've also got the future card over here, which is about walking away from the relationship, from the impulsiveness of your actions within the relationship that created the destruction. You're moving away from that. 
and putting down the burden around it. And I see, so again, and I, I remember your reading from last week, there was, a, there was something that you did, Cancer, that created disruption in a connection with someone. There's a possibility that um, you, may, so there's two scenarios here. You may be in a marriage or in a relationship with someone, but you had another connection with someone else that was very intense and passionate for you, or you were in this connection with this person and there is no other partner. It's just the one person. But you, you, there was some kind of meltdown that happened, which was on your part. You contributed to creating this and that person has moved away. And so for you, you were carrying a lot of guilt around this. The addiction card came up last week for you and it's coming up again. So some kind of addiction, alcohol, drugs, or um, codependency, attach unhealthy attachments to people. And what I see happening here is I've got three cards. I've got the healing card. I've got the schizophrenia card. I'll explain to you now what that means. It's not as bad as it sounds. And I've got the guilt card. Guilt, strong guilt. So... There is some kind of forgiveness within you that is needed to happen so that this healing can take place and you can let go of the guilt and all the emotions that you're carrying around it, that you're carrying within yourself. So the schizophrenia card is, it's the, it's the tension between the head and the heart and not being able to make any decisions because you're kind of bobbing between these two polar opposites. Um, and it's it's like literally spinning yourself out because of an inability to just let go and allow things to happen or to flow or to move forward. And so the schizophrenia is how you just, you know, unable to make a healthy decision. So the reason why I sense that for some of you, you may be in a relationship presently and this was another person is because... I do have a commitment with the Lenormand cards. I have the ring, the tower, the paths, the whip, and the lady. And I see that um, the, the, the ring card is a card of commitment of a relationship. And it's isolating and um, it's very authoritative. And I see you making a new decision with it. Reaching a place of having to take a new path from this lady who is, um, she's very, she's like a tyrant. She's very controlling and aggressive and actually quite unhealthy. Um, so I see the Scythe card as well. So there's some kind of cutting that has happened. And I hope what this means for you, Cancer, is that you're walking away from this, if that is the case. So um, I want to read the love oracle card that's come up. Delays and setbacks in fulfilling your plans for a union, possibly because the other person does not show enough interest, sets conditions, and in fact wants you to be someone else. Do you love yourself enough to seek a better treatment? So, yeah, I hope that shed some light. Um, it's quite complex. I hope that I could have provided you with some insight or clarity. If you'd like to go deeper with it, my website is in the description box and you can reach out. Otherwise, I really would appreciate your support with a like and a, su a subscribe. And I always want to hear what your comments are. You know, what, how did this resonate with you? What did it provide you with? How, how did you benefit from it or not? All right, thank you for watching and I hope to see you, well, I virtually hope you will be back again next week for more. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.